for the last time this week. I can't believe it's Friday. I know, it's a miracle. You know what else is a miracle? What? A miracle minute. TJ, we are going to be doing a miracle minute. We are going to raise as much money as we can in only one minute. So be ready for that. We've already raised over $500 from the last two. So make this last one count. Did you know that it's snowing? No, I didn't, but I bet news will tell us. Let's send it to them. Hey, TJ, welcome back to the news. Let's get straight to it. Shoppers at a Walmart store in Saskatchewan were surprised to discover the store had some new residents, birds. When it's minus 50 outside, they look for somewhere warm. The store manager said that the best thing to do for the birds is to ignore them, as they would be difficult to evict and are just chilling up in the rafters. In other crazy animal news, a moose was caught on camera chasing skiers down a slope at a Wyoming resort. The person chased stated, I did not have moose chasing us down the mountain on my bingo card. Well, neither do I. Luckily, there were no reports of injuries on the slopes. That's all we have for you today, TJ. It's Caleb. And Rachel. Signing, signing off, off for the last, last time this week. week. Hey guys, it's Riley and Carly, your weathermen for the day. Okay, right now it is 30 degrees and there's a high of 44 today. Do you see that? It's winter and you know what's this Saturday? The winter dance. <gasps> I'm going to the winter dance, are you? Me too. We hope to see you all there, TJ. Okay. That segment had a lot of swear and spirit. You know there's only a few weeks left in the winter sports season. Can you believe that? No, and next up is spring sports. On Wednesday, we had swim and baseball meetings. Next up is track and field meetings. It will be at lunch on Wednesday in Miss Popper's room. They will be discussing the next upcoming season, registration, and practices. So if you're thinking about track and field this year, you better get to that meeting. Do you know the older you get, the colder you get? Not at all. How about we send it to admin? Hey, TJ Spartans, it's Miss Lupo here. Super quick reminder about the parking lot again. So you guys, make sure if you make sure to get one of these tags from me if you have not already. Okay, I really need everyone to be registered with me again. In order to do that, please email me a picture of your license, registration, proof of insurance. If you do not have one or more of those things, you are not allowed to either legally drive or legally be parking in our school parking lot. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, seniors, if you still have not taken care of that, now is your opportunity. Um, so please do that and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, TJ. Let's have a great day. Good morning, TJ. Mr. Poole here. Juniors, just a reminder, we have SAT prep today during lunch. Don't miss it. Um, there's food. And also, you know what you don't want to miss? The dance tomorrow. It's going to be fun. And it's perfect because it's winter weather for a winter dance. See you guys. Good morning, Spartans. Miss Hamill here. Just thought I'd do a little feel good Friday. Little sickness, little snow, but we still got to feel good, right? Make the choice. So here it is. Sometimes with our identity, people try to box you in. Boxes are hard. Hard to fit in, too. So, think of a Venn diagram. Venn diagrams. You're in the middle of everything fabulous. Have a great day. Are you, Are you Spartans, Spartans going to be sad next week? week? Yes, they will. Definitely. For the last time this week, from your favorite anchors, it's Cheyenne and Fatima signing out. Hey, TG, we're back as your closing anchors for the final time this week. I'm John. And I'm Alex. It's pretty exciting that we have a prep rally today. We have some fun activities planned and we're raising more money to finish off this wish week. You may have already noticed the shortened class schedules, but if you haven't, all classes are only 45 minutes today. Let's send it to sports. What's, What's up, up TJ? TJ? We're back with the last sports update it's of the week. Last night, boys and girls varsity basketball both lost, but make sure to get ready for the crossover games which will determine their final seeding and playoffs. Boys and girls wrestling have regionals this weekend with the boys facing off at Greeley West and the girls at Vista Peak. In pro sports news, the Nuggets beat the Lakers last night 114 to 106 with a Jamal Murray 29 piece putting them first in the Western Conference. That's all the sports we have for you today, TJ. Signing off for the week. Have a great weekend, TJ. What's up? It's Jake and Owen from TJ Boys Basketball. You have a wonderful weekend, sir. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. Um, so we had a, a game last night against Vista Peak. We did not win. We lost. But uh, next week we'll have the DPS crossover games, so look out for those. Tuesday and Friday, and Tuesday's at home. So, yeah. Hey 
Hey, it's Julia from Girls Basketball. We had a game yesterday in Vista Peak, and we lost, but it's okay. We had a great season, and next week we have crossovers, so good job. It's Armani from Boys Wrestling, and we got a two-day tournament at Greeley West, so wishes luck and alls. Seniors, college is expensive. There are a lot of resources and information out there that can help with crazy cost of college. One of the best resources is next week. It's TJ's FAFSA CASFA workshop on Thursday, February 15th from 3 to 7 p.m. Seniors, you need to be there. Stop by the Future Center if you have any questions. Let's send to student groups for the last time this week. Hey TJ, it's Riley, Layla, and Will from Leadership. Today during lunch and after school, buy your dance tickets. Remember, they are only $10 for a single and $15 for a double. The dance is at TJ on Saturday from 8 to 11, so everyone should be there. And make sure to nominate your friends for royalty. Two people in every grade will win. Scan the QR code around the screen or around the school. And remember to wear something similar to homecoming, which is semi-formal. We are so excited to see everyone there. Again, the dance is on Saturday from 8 to 11. But first, we'll see you t at today's pep assembly. Thanks, TJ. Hey, TJ, another quick announcement. We will be selling tickets at lunch and after school today and also at the doors of the dance. If you want to use card, head over to Miss Allen and pay through my school bucks and come back to the table at lunch or after school and show us your receipt. We'll also be announcing royalty today at the pep rally, so be there. Hi, it's Ella and Ella from Speech and Debate. We're here to let you know about the bake sale coming up. It's going to be from the 12th to the 14th next week. We have lots of local sponsors, and it's after school from those three days, so be sure to show up. Thanks. Hi there. Uh, TJ, I come to you with uh, a little bit of sad news. <clears throat> I just got an email from Chick-fil-A that says I'm about to lose my red status um, if I don't spend like $780 there in the next couple of months. Um, but it reminded me of something, because we have a pep rally today and a dance on Saturday. And much like my red status at Chick-fil-A, TJ, we have things here that they don't have anywhere else. And then you have people debating, I don't know if I'm going to go, I don't know if I'm going to go. When you don't use things that are to your benefit, you lose them, right? First Friday, awesome. Did you know we used to have it every month, but people were leaving, stuff like that. Um, so I say all of this to say, if you don't take advantage of all the amazing things that TJ has to offer, like academic assemblies and, and pep rallies and First Friday, TJ, you're going to lose them. And if they lose them, you're going to be sad. And you, you know why you're going to be sad, TJ? Because then it'll be painfully obvious that, much like the people at Chick-fil-A who are ripping me off from my status, that you don't know Jack. Son. Oh my god, is that a snake? What a bugbear, man. What's going on, TJ? I'm back. Uh, today we're going to be asking people who they think is going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, will it be Taylor Swift or Brock Purdy? Alright, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Brock Purdy or Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift. Okay. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Anna Fry or Taylor Swift? That's tough. I got Anna Fry. No way Anna Fry loses. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Brock Purdy or Taylor Swift? Mm, Brock Purdy. Good choice. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Brock Purdy or Taylor Swift? Hmm. That's tough. I'm hoping Brock Purdy because he's kind of an underdog. And I think Taylor Swift might already like have enough wins. 